can find a virtuous woman, for her price is far above rubies. She is blessed and praised. Hey, Twister Girl, welcome back to my channel, Twist and Shout. And today, um, I have to fill you guys in on wash day because I cheated. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but we went to the beach. My hair was already gritty from the fenugreek paste that went wrong. Y'all seen the video, so y'all know I'm not lying. But it was like, once we got back, I said, I got to wash my hair. And I have to wash my hair now because y'all know how to sand and your hair, you know. So I washed my hair, but I'm going to tell you guys what I use so you won't feel left out or feel like I'm cheating. First things first, welcome. I love you. God bless you. Don't forget to pray for me. Please keep me in your prayers because my allergies have been bothering me. So I'm sorry if I'm not as long-winded. I'm going to try to keep this short and simple and to the point because I'm drowsy. But I know I have to inform you guys and, I, and the best time to film is now. So I have to take advantage. All right. So... Let me just start from the beginning. I did not pre-poop. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. But again, it was one of those de-stressors. Like, I have to wash my hair and I have to wash my hair now because I feel so gritty and so filthy. So, I did. And guess what? It wasn't bad. Let me just start by saying, picture insert. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I had little to no shedding. And when I say I had to scrape and scoop to get those pieces of hair up, I was so amazed and shocked because one, I washed my hair in the shower and normally that doesn't go so great. But when I said a thing about it, I'm like, you know what? The last time I did that, my issue wasn't really shedding per se. It was kind of the getting out back and forth, grabbing products that kind of, you know, made things a little rough. But because I wasn't focused on filming, I was able to focus on my hair. So no shedding or little to no shedding. I almost didn't do a conditioner or deep conditioner, but I said, Char, let's not get crazy, okay? And I was able to talk myself out of that. So let me just show you guys what I use because I'm moving too fast. Shampoo. First of all, I'm sorry. I did say I was going to, in my mind, I didn't tell you guys that I had products that I was going to showcase and show you guys for a review. I did not. I'm sorry. But... Here we have the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight. That's what it looks like. You get a whole 16 ounces, 16.9 ounces, 500 milliliters for $10.99 at Walmart. I kept eyeing it, but then I saw a couple videos on it and that would concern me too. Like nobody was gravitating towards it. And the few that did had hair that... I think they could just wash with water and they would have been fine, to be honest with you. But I said, let me, let me, let me try it. And I did. And I'm so glad I did because one, if you need something to squeaky clean your hair, this is it. And you, I didn't have to use much. The lather was awesome. Lather. Can't even talk. Sorry. I told you I'm drowsy. The lather was awesome. I would say that based on the squeaky cleanness of this, I definitely probably should have did a deep conditioner, but I did do a conditioner and I like that too. And the conditioner I used was the Camille Rose Cactus Rose Water Lightweight Conditioner. And it says helps fine, dry and flat hair and honey, my hair is fine. And it was getting a little dry. And this definitely is lightweight, but for whatever reason, it had a lot of slip. It felt moisturizing. And I literally felt like this conditioner was restoring what the shampoo, like they really work well together. Like this is a great combo. And yes, they're in the same line and you want to think that, you know, that that's supposed to happen. But we know that's not always the case. But this came out on its own and this probably was within a line. But together, magic. I'm so, I'm still like... Yes. Good choice, Char. Then I went to Leave-In and I used the Tylee Wahi Green Apple and Aloe. I knew I need something that was moisturizing, so I went and got this. And I already knew I love it and it did its job. I even got a um, hang on the pump 
and I'm just spraying away and just moving that thing around and, and you know, massaging the product into my hair. And I was just like, yes, yes, you go girl, you learning. So great, great combination. Everything was nice and mellow and light. Nothing was too overbearing. And this smells good. I did not, I'm, it looks like water. Like you, you, I didn't expect anything, but smells good. Smells like first lady perfume. So it's something that you, it, 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 it lightens you on wash day, but you probably don't want to smell it all the time. Cause it's kind of like average spring. That soap. But and for me, I'm a country girl, so it's like when you get a whiff of it, just a little bit, you just like, okay, okay. But you ain't trying to smell it every day. Okay, what else? What else? All right, so then I used the jelly from that same line, the Tali Wahi Green Apple and Aloe with Coconut. Y'all, this was in my stash, and I was sleeping on it. And I even came in front of y'all and said, wait, I don't have a black-owned gel. Here it is. And this is day two. Let me get a close up. And it's held. And yes, I have a band on, but it's held down. And I scratched a little bit. So, of course, I got some hairs coming out. And I didn't put a lot back here because I was sorry being lazy. But it's holding. And it's holding well. Like, look at it. That's a gel. And it's the type that is like, not like shining gel, but I can tell that I can really use it to manipulate. Like if I want to do plaques or a twist or this pineapple, or if I wanted to add a definition in here, that's, this is a one fit for all. Like this is where it's at. So, and this whole line is ten ninety nine, nine ninety nine piece. I think awesome. I, I'm definitely backing her with this line. Love it. But she has good products anyway. She just, people don't talk about her that much. I don't know why, but she's good in my book. And what happened? Oh, before that, I used my oil as a sealant. And this is actually my original herbal oil with my new Marengo oil. I did like half and half and put it in here, mixed it together. And I used it as my sealant because, again, I knew the shampoo took almost everything I had. And I had to restore it. And this was a great sealant. Normally, I don't use my oil as a sealant per se. I kind of use it like a moisturizer or refresher. But this time, I use it as a sealant and it served its purpose. It was nice. It was soft. It was very juicy. It worked. All right. So, that was wash day. I just had to come on you guys. Come on here and be transparent and let you guys know what's up. Don't want to be having you guys in the dark. Like, whoa, wait, hi. Because I know y'all seen my last video. Like, shut up. I'm sorry, it was one of those days that I had just, but this is what I'm rocking for the next couple of days or so. I'm going to be probably greasing or oiling. I haven't used, I need to get back and use this grease again. I probably will put this on my scalp and work this in tonight. And of course, come on here and tell you guys how it is, or I might do it in front of you guys because we're overdue for a grease and God, and I'll tell you about that some other time. But thank you for tuning in. Just had to give you guys an update while I win this hair growth channel that's still very on and very real. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting and thank you for standing with me. I love you. God bless. God bless. God bless.